guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by if this is your first time here please take one second one second to subscribe anyways guys if you're a returning subscriber you know I love you you know that we keep it real here um, thank you guys so much again for stopping by today's video is a very serious video so if you want to know what's happening in this video like keep watching I'm gonna talk about the one question that remains constant throughout my video like every time I respond to a message about the Canadian Express entry a lot of people ask me this questions and it's one of those things that I know how bothersome it can be because um, I was bothered about it it's just about the IELTS how to pass IELTS without flinching so um, if you want to know how this works if you want to know my tips and my tricks and like everything I did keep watching so guys um, I know that writing an exam especially for right now writing an exam is the one thing you don't want to do like it's like I went to school I'm done with university why should I be writing an exam and I was there I was in that same address because um, when I did my IELTS like in 2018 it was one of I, I told myself I don't want to do IELTS again I don't want to have to go through prepping for an exam like I did that all that in uni and I'm like I don't want to have to go through it anymore so I took my time to study for my IELTS and in a minute I'll let you know what my score was um, I, I did really good FYI um, so I my my um, what I had at the back of my mind was I don't want to do IELTS again I don't want to do it more than once and so that sort of like gingered me to prep really hard for the exam and uh, my score was um, 9 9 8 and 7 so it was um, listening 9 which is the top score you can get um, reading 9 which is also the top score you can get and um, speaking I had eight I mean I speak really good how do I get eight how and then reading I had seven which I knew was coming because I wasn't ready <laughs> anyways guys let me break it down to you how you can you know equally succeed in your IELTS so first things first I know you guys if you're not if you're if you've been on my channel before you know first things first is my the right things to say <laughs> the right thing to say so first thing first when I was prepping for my IELTS I made a serious mistake and I feel like that mistake sort of helped me and it was simply that I was prepping for the IELTS academic instead of the general so if you're prepping for if you applying for the Canadian Express entry you're going to be doing IELTS general which is like your your general understanding of, of English so yours truly was study was prepping for academics which is what you use when you're going into school in Canada or like anywhere else so I had like I think I had like three months to prep and I was doing this course on um, edx.org so I'm gonna leave that link in this video somewhere or and also in the description box edx is a website that helps you to study for exams <laughs> no edx is a website that has a bunch of courses he has a lot of courses from a lot of universities he has courses from MIT University of Australia he has a lot of courses from amazing schools so um it had IELTS on it and for some reason that was the first thing I started doing I was using edx.org for my IELTS and take note that um, British Council gives you like a study pack when you're when you 
when you um, registered for the exam but I did not use that immediately because I was already prepping before even before I registered so I was using etx.org and it had like the modules the, the listening reading speaking and writing it had it like in different courses so I was taking that it was really in depth it was teaching me how to like answer every question it was teaching me basically everything that I needed to know so that was where most of my time was going I was always studying that I was always on that website that was where I was learning everything from like even though I was learning more than I should be learning I was really really happy that I was using it anyway I use IELT I use EDX or ORG and I also use the um, British Council um, books they give you and another thing that really helped me was YouTube so if you go on YouTube right now and search how to prepare for um, your IELTS speaking or how to prepare for your IELTS reading you would have a bunch of stuff come come up and you really if you really want to pass it that's why I would tell you to go go to YouTube go to edx.org you have a lot of practice tests a lot of practice questions those two resources I'm telling you will help you a great deal EDX if you have a lot of time to prep for your exam if you're writing your exam in December and this is June or July you can use EDX because you have a lot of time to prepare and even though you're doing uh, it's the academic module that's on there it really helps you break down the question like it was really really good for me so um, e um, EDX and YouTube two great resources I'm gonna leave links and links of videos in the comments in the description box down below and I'm sure that if you do go through any of that um, let me know what helped you because I know that um, ILTS is one of the biggest challenges for a lot of people so um, you can um, let me know how that works for you I'm really really interested to see how people pass this because um, those two things are where what I use YouTube and the EDX website and the EDX you can actually download the app on your phone so you can actually study on the go so if you guys want to know more and if you guys are interested you can send me an email and I will um, you know shoot you guys some more information about it anyways guys this was a really short video I was hoping it was gonna be longer but those are the two resources I would recommend for um, I, passing your IELTS another thing I want to mention is that if you're going to do IELTS the listening part is what gives a lot of people like anxiety so if you're preparing for your listening I would advise that you be as calm as possible a lot of the resources you will use on those two two um, sites I talked about will tell you how to prep for your listening because you really need to stay calm you need to be chill don't stress yourself and yeah if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comments box if you want to see more Canadian content like more of me talking about getting into Canada let me know like I want to know exactly what you want to see what do you want to see tell me what you want from me taking a look at what you see anyways guys this video has been really short um don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel turn on that notification bell if you want to know when i post new videos and new content and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>